Hi there, hope you're doing great. Uh, I'm back here with another small talks on uh, how to dissolve off fillers. So uh, when it comes to fillers, a lot of people do ask me that uh, are they permanent or can they be done away with if they do not like the results. So uh, this is Dr. Gagan here and uh, I'm a facial aesthetic injector. So today we're going to talk on harlanidase or the enzyme that we use to dissolve off fillers. Injecting fillers is an art. I mean, uh, it's one of those organs uh, of the body that uh, provides sensuality and expression and emotion to your face. Uh, lips have always been one of the major concerns amongst females, uh, hence lipstick is one of the most trending cosmetic product worldwide. So uh, in our clinics as well, we get a lot of inquiries for lip fillers. Now a lot of uh, people confuse uh, that after lip fillers your lips will get plumpy and fluffy. Not exactly. It actually depends upon what your end result you have in mind and how much of product you get injected with. Generally a medium soft filler uh, is used to volumize the lips and give contour to the lips. And uh, I mean it depending upon the patient or the client's uh, desired outcome, we plan, pre-plan and discuss before we inject. But at times as you know maybe due to improper consultation or the injector and the patient not being on the same page, uh, undue results are very much possible. So I mean injecting lips as I said is an art and uh, make sure that uh, when you are getting your lips injected, your injector is well versed or is uh, completely on your page and in understanding what volume you would like. It's, it's a medical art like I'm saying over and over again so kind of uh, Go ahead with lip fillers, have a good consultation, see the injector's work that he has done before and I'm sure if, if you want to go for it, just go for it, don't think about it. If you are a confident personality, it won't be that tough to just you know carry the lips that you've got done. And uh, moreover, if you don't like the job, if you don't perhaps like the shape of your lips after the fillers, they can easily be dissolved. Today I'm going to show you a, a video on how uh, uh, my patient she came back with the lip job and a little bit fillers on the nose that she was not really happy with and how we dissolved it off right in real time and within 10 to 15 minutes. It's an easy procedure, yes it does involve uh, medical knowledge so make, make sure that the injector is an experienced injector and is an in, uh, authorized injector and furthermore yeah let's come forward and see what uh, is there for more to show. A lot of people have different concerns regarding their lips. Some people want to volumize the lips. Some people just want to give a little bit of shape to the lips. And a lot of people do complain about the drooping corners of the mouth. So they just want to lift them up. But overall, when we inject lips, we try to holistically inject uh, the total in body in total of the lip so that a homogeneous proportions on the lips can be established. Furthermore, if, uh, if we go by classical trends, uh, we try to follow the golden proportions. That is the ratio 1 to 1.6 with respect to the upper and the lower lip but then again with trend and style uh, there are different trends emerging out like the brazilian lip the sausage lips and depending upon the patient's concern and uh, his or her desire we inject them accordingly hyaluronic acid itself is a hydrophilic substance so the end result what you see on the table might experience a little bit more swelling after the absorption of water by the hyaluronic acid molecule and uh, furthermore we tend to under inject a little bit so that the final outcome can be achieved yes uh, swelling of uh, one or two days post the injection day is pretty much common but if the swelling is persistent seven days after the injection consult your doctor See, issues may arise maybe uh, with extra volumizing of the lips that you, the patient might not like. Sometimes uh, it also happens that the uh, volume of the fill filler gets co collected in nodules and gets accentuated in parts of the lips forming lumps. Also at times when the desired outcome is not achieved due to improper consultations, people may have issues with their lips done. And also yes, you know, understand the personality when you're injecting the lips or when you're getting your lips injected. Understand your personality, what kind of lips would suit you, what kind of profession you're into. Because all these would play a vital outcome for you to accept your results.
there can be worse problems like uh, nodule formation and furthermore the nodules getting infected uh, also check for the history of herpes simplex uh, if the patient has ever encountered the disease and also check for any blisters or acne marks around when you're injecting do not inject into infected or ulcerated lips and uh, well yes if any medical emergency arises uh, do consult the doctor immediately and also um, if you see discoloration arising on your lip like your lips getting pale white consult the doctor immediately that can be a much serious event uh, like a vascular occlusion which might need immediate medical intervention so well yes uh, observe for the pain observe for any discoloration if at all it's happening yes discoloration in the form of bruises that are like the dark blue spots may arise post injections that's different but you should be more concerned if your lips swell up uh, at a sudden after the injection and they turn pale white or maybe reddish white forming a net like pattern uh, so well yes uh, those need immediate medical interventions but yes if you're not really happy with the results you can take seven to ten days and finally you know make convince yourself if you really want to dissolve those fillers off because you know you got them done at your own wish so dissolving is not really a happy thing that uh, i personally like doing it's, it's like yeah when the results are dissatisfactory and the patient is not liking it we dissolve it off but i personally would uh, still believe that you know dissolving is not really a great idea well let's see a physical demonstration of how high laser hyaluronic days works and how it's uh, diluted and loaded onto a syringe and if you have any questions uh, shoot down in the comment box below i try to answer them otherwise uh, let's see you at the end of the video then Hyaluronidase basically are a family of enzymes that catalyze the degradation or breakdown of hyaluronic acid molecule. And uh, the enzyme was basically classified by Carl Mayer in the year 1971 into three distinct groups, a schematic based on the reaction and how the outcomes comes. So basically this is the enzyme that we uh, use to dissolve of the fillers. It works basically by breakage of the bonds that hold the fillers together. The polypeptide bonds that holds the filler together and also the cross linkage bonds that are there inside the filler so this enzymes basically breaks off those bonds and so dissolving your fillers off into smaller particles which are either then absorbed off or you know merges or ultimately drained out from your body some lumps so uh, right hi as you can all see that the lips have an uneven texture and also we can see some nodular formations on the lips so to dissolve these nodules form we use something called as hyalase this is a hyaluronidase injection right that is used to dissolve fillers it's the 1500 IU units that we are going to use first this hyalase is mixed with 0.9% normal saline and then loaded onto a BD syringe then hyper diluted to 1 is to 3 concentration so what we'll do is we'll inject hyalase in the lumpy areas and let the filler dissolve later on we'll see if we need to reconstruct the lip with the filler again and also as you can see the earlier done nose filler has migrated down over the cartilage area so we would prefer to dissolve this off right so uh, this is our second session of hyalase so before every session make sure you check for a uh, patch test of hyla that's very important since we have already done it so we are not repeating the patch test again so we'll start with this part here we'll put a little here also okay this lump you can see this lump we we'll target this lump first yeah inject a little and then we gently mold the region so that we can dissolve the filler that was there the lump of the filler that was there you can see immediate improvement because this process happens in real time now coming to this lump as you can see on the corners of the mouth she has a little lump on the lip yeah so we direct inject here this is the second session of highlights gently massage and try to erode away the extra filler are you okay yeah. are you having any pain no. little 
pain must be there. I mean, when you're pushing it inside. Hmm? Yes. This time much less than the last time. Yeah. Because last time you see your left were also more full. Yeah. So injecting more saline into it also was was causing more expansion of the tissue. Okay. So maybe that was there was more pain. So as you can already see, the lump has started to dissolve off. It's gone off quite a bit. Now we'll inject the extreme corners of the mouth, where our last lump is. Gently massage this area so that we spread the solution evenly. Are you feeling comfortable? Yeah. Right, so I think the lump has gone. The lower lip, you're fine with it, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, so we won't inject the lower lip. nodule here if you can all see this nodule so we'll dissolve this off as well so again like I said we'll load five units into our BD syringe into our insulin syringe like this now we hyper dilute this five minutes to 15 five units to 15 units As you can see, we have made the 5 units, we have diluted it to 15 units and we will repeat the same process. Make sure if you are high leaving, do a patch test, that's extremely important. Huh? Furthermore, there is a little bit of swelling after the high so after the swelling wears off, the lips will return back to the normal shape. Yeah, so now when we talk about the nose, there's nothing wrong with the nose, it's just that the filler that was injected up migrated down due to the pressure of the spectacles. Yeah. So she wants to reduce the prominence in this area as well. Now 
only with the tips from India and the top of it. This is not really much. And go for more. Like I said, we again would load 5 units into this. If you have minor bulges of the tissue, you can use radio frequency as well. But for quick results, we prefer using high base. Or high to be precise. Encounter a little bit of late swelling as well, okay? Then nose. In the nose and the lips both. Did you have any swelling last time after the lip? Uh, the, I think it's gone within 5 to 6 hours. 5 to 6 hours, right. Until you think it will more than 24 hours. How much filler was injected here? 1 ml? 1. 1 full ml or a little less than 1 ml? One full. One full, right? Mm, nice and So after the filler, was it fine? I mean, later on it migrated down, right? Yes. After the filler, it was fine. It was it's so good, the better. Mm. Then. So I'm not dissolving it off completely. You just try to dissolve it off to the optimal level so that. The certain amount, sure. yeah, the certain portion, so that you know the bridge is still intact and prominent, and if the excess filler gets to fall down. This time we leave it like this. Let's see if we have to highlight it more after the next session, okay? okay. That's better, I guess, right? Rather than dissolving it off completely and wasting your filler. Okay. You're perfectly fine, right?
this feels better now there's no bump here now you know most kind of change your identity or not consultation uh, was really, you know, um, because the lips was done nicely it's just that <laughs> you didn't like it it's uh, no, it could become more I think it is coarse mm. but more plumpy now so. mm -hmm. and how it doesn't go with my face face yeah that was looking a little odd on you do I mean if you look I mean what lips was done it was I mean, some people really love those lips some people yeah Someone, some people told me that I still look good on you and someone said, wow, what happened to you? Mm. So you kind of got mixed reviews on that. Same goes with the nose also. Yes. But I know that. If someone told me that I'm okay, if you want, if you want to change something in your face, now you take the nose. Alright. Come on, nice nose. My breath is so depressed now. I don't like it. But I'm too much on me. See you in the next session. In subsequent sessions, if you have to highly zoom or not. I'm not dissolving your complete nose filler, okay? I'm just doing like a minimal work so that this is dissolving your pore. If you feel it's good and nice, it's well and good, okay? If you still feel you need to dissolve up more, we'll dissolve it up in the next session, okay? I hope you like the video. If you have any suggestions for me or regarding the content that we have or any questions regarding the procedure and how it's to be done and or any query, I'd be more than happy to answer you back. So you can shoot down all your queries in the comment section below and hope to see you soon with another video on facial aesthetic injections. Till then, this is Dr. Gagan signing off. Be happy, be healthy and always keep smiling.